Hello, today I'm coming at you with another quick dose of current GK for your short notes, essays, interviews, or just some general knowledge. We have you covered. We've done more such GK videos for you. If you haven't seen them, I would link them in the description box. Today, we're going to be discussing police reforms. Recently, a case in Delhi has come to light where a group of unarmed peaceful protesters were mercilessly beaten up by the Delhi police outside RSS headquarters. And this happened when they were protesting against the suicide of Rohit Vemulla, the PhD scholar from Hyderabad Central University. Before we move on to the police reform's recommendations, let's take a look at the actual video that has taken the internet by storm. Here you can see the policemen mercilessly beating up students in slow motion. And now let's hear it with all the background noises in the video. <laughs> And this is the part where you see the policeman pulling the woman by the hair. And here is what the Delhi Police Commissioner, Mr. Passi, had to say about right, the video. You're saying that an inquiry has been ordered, sir. But you know, when, when we look at the visuals there in, the, in that video, uh, do you see that, you know, prima facie, there appears to have been uh, excesses committed by the police today? See, somehow I have not seen the visuals because I have been busy throughout the day. I have not seen the video footage, uh, footage so I may not be able to comment. Even though the police commissioner had not seen the video, which was playing on every media news channel on a loop, we have seen it. And now, so have you. So, let's discuss some of the police reforms and our recommendations. Number one, separate the policing from investigation. This, we feel, is one of the most fundamental steps, but one with the largest impact. Because of daily policing pressures, investigation is put on the second pedestal and never done with the full vigor it requires. And also, investigators must have training not just in police procedures, but also technical knowledge such as forensic sciences and medicine. Secondly, Training of police constables There is a need to train police constables not just in police procedures and the Code of Criminal Procedure and how to go about the technical side of the work, but also they require a very big dose of sensitivity training so that we can avoid another such video going viral in which the police is mercilessly beating peaceful protesters with canes and punches, men and women alike. On an average, a police officer is retrained only once in 20 years. Now that's a lot of time. Training of police personnel has been accorded a low priority by most state governments. And that's for basically two reasons. Number one, the available staff are so stretched out that there is no time for police personnel to be sent for training. And number two, lack of training infrastructure in most states. This is a must change in our books. Number three, increase the number of police personnel. Statistically, the number of policemen per 100,000 people, that is 1 lakh people in India is 137.8 as against the minimum United Nations norm of 220 per 100,000 people. And in Delhi especially, the Supreme Court, the High Court, the Ministries, Parliament, Embassies and mostly the VIPs take up a lot of the force as their personal bodyguards and security force. As a result of which, there is an extraordinary workload on an average policeman, which has adversely affected his efficiency, performance and morale. Next, make the beetroots Public and the officers accountable. 
the daily beat routes of various constables must be put on the internet so that everyone should know that at any time who is the police constable patrolling their area with his name and phone number this will go a long way in reducing crime the next recommendation we have is to involve the locals in community policing there should be a neighborhood watch with police training for facilitating the patrolling and vigilance by locals of that area since the police can only take on so much load such a step would go a long way in encouraging participation by the locals and also of preventing crime if these steps are followed we are certain the quality of policing will increase by leaps and bounds and if you think that we left out on some step which you think is essential as a reform leave it in the comment thanks till next time